Leonardo AI stands as a cutting-edge online platform dedicated to the creation and enhancement of AI-generated visuals. In this beginner's full guide, we'll cover the basics of what makes Leonardo AI so awesome. Offering a robust and cost-free option comparable to Midjourney, Leonardo AI is a welcoming alternative. Users can begin their creative journey by registering on its website using an Apple, Google, Microsoft account, or simply their email address. So let's do this thing together, shall we? I'll use my Google account. Upon signing in, users are greeted by the home page, which prominently displays the featured AI models for image generation, alongside a gallery showcasing the latest visual creations from the Leonardo AI community. All right, so let's break this down in a fun and easy way. If you're anything like me, you might have already found some images in the community creations that you really, really like. Well, that's definitely a good thing, because with Leonardo AI, you can use any of the images as inspiration for your own creations. You can do so in three unique ways. The first way is by clicking Copy Prompt, which allows you to copy the text prompt that was used to generate the image. The second way is by clicking Image to Image, which allows you to use the image as a reference to create new images. And finally, the third way is by clicking the download button, which allows you to do whatever you want with the image. So do you feel like a bit of a copycat? Yeah, I do too. So go ahead and do what you like with the images you love. Because guess what? Every single public picture in this gallery is like a digital freebie no strings attached, and totally available for commercial use and royalty-free. So start sparking your creativity and get inspired by others. If you're ever craving a trip down memory lane with all the creations you made in the past, go to your personal feed and revisit all the images you made. It's basically like your history of creations. As of the time of this video, Leonardo AI has six main AI tools. Number one is image generation, which allows you to generate art, illustrations, and more with text prompts. Number two is motion, which allows you to add generative video to images. Number three is real-time canvas, which allows you to create and transform your sketches into art in real time. Number four is real-time generation, which allows for real-time generation while you type. Number five is canvas editor, which allows you to edit, refine, add details, remove unwanted elements, modify styles, and more. And finally, number six is Universal Upscaler, which allows you to improve the quality, size, or make changes to images with prompts. Now, if you're itching to get more advanced with some serious style, Leonardo AI also offers three more complex features. This includes the fine-tuned model section, which is like a buffet of AI algorithms for unique styles. The platform models section is created by the Leonardo team. There is also a section for community models, which are made by members of the community. The second section is training and data sets, where you can build your own models with custom image data sets. We won't get ahead of ourselves though, we're keeping it simple in this beginner's tutorial, so we won't be talking too much about training and data sets. Finally, the third advanced section is texture generation, which is currently in the alpha stage. Here, you can render entire UV textures by uploading a 3D model, enter a text prompt, and watch as a texture is automatically created and projected onto the 3D mesh. And again, since this is a beginner's tutorial, we won't be diving into this section too much either. For now, let's stick to the basics and have some fun with image generation tool first. Okay, so let's get familiar with the layout. You've got your command line up top and a bunch of cool tools at your disposal on the bottom and side. Kick things off by typing your vision into the command line and click the generate button to bring your ideas to life. For our example, I'll type a beautiful brunette woman overlooking the city streets in a synthwave style. Then we'll hit the generate button to get images matching my prompt. Just a heads up. Each image generation you make nibbles away at your token stash, which you can peek at on the side. If you're on the freebie plan, you've got 150 tokens to play with each day. If you want more tokens and some snazzy extras like Leonardo Alchemy, you're going to have to sign up for a subscription. 
That reminds me, now would be a most excellent time for me to switch over to my paid Leonardo AI account in order to show you the full benefits of a subscription. This way, I'll have more tokens to show you guys around the site. Only the best for you all. Be right back, everyone. There we go. Now that's more like it. Okay, now let's try this again, shall we? I'll type a beautiful brunette woman overlooking the city streets in a synthwave style. But this time, let's go ahead and click the dice here, which allows you the option to improve the prompt. Wow, that's a lot more detailed. Now remember how I mentioned earlier that paying for a subscription allows you to access more features. Well, Photo Real is one of those features. Photo Real basically lets you generate hyper-realistic photos and lifelike portraits. Photo Real also requires Alchemy version 2. What is Alchemy version 2, you ask? Well, Alchemy version 2 is the latest premium feature upgrade that offers enhanced image generation. Let's go ahead and turn on both Photo Real and Alchemy version 2. Let's see what we get. We'll click Generate. Very cool. I like that. Now, let's compare these images to the ones we created earlier on the free account, which had no Photo Real and no Alchemy version 2. So what do you think? Is it worth it? Now, if we look over on the side again, we can cover the rest of the options available to you on your image-making adventure. One thing you'll notice is that in the upper left-hand corner, you can decide how many images you want to create per generation. If you're just starting out and or you're on the free plan, I recommend lowering this to one or two in order to save on tokens. If you have both Photo Real and Alchemy version 2 turned off, you'll notice an option for prompt magic. Basically, prompt magic has far greater prompt adherence, higher image fidelity, and can improve the output of the chosen model. Here's some prompt magic examples. Keep in mind that Alchemy version 2 is a step above prompt magic, but will cost you more tokens per generation. The next option is transparency, which allows you to make visuals without a background. If you turn the transparency mode on, be sure to not mention a background in your prompt for best results. Let's give that a whirl next, shall we? We'll click transparency to on and click the generate button. And here we are. What do you think? The next option allows you to choose whether you would like your creations to be public or private. If you choose public, your generations will be sent to the community feed for all to see, use, and share. If you choose private, you'll get an exclusive license on your generated images and no one else will be able to see them or use them. Keep in mind, the private option is available only on paid plans. Next up, we have the input dimensions section. Here, you will be able to adjust the image size and aspect ratio. This is where you can tweak those image dimensions to get the perfect fit. But remember, straying from the default might fuzz things up a bit. You will see a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark warning you if you are outside the recommended inputs. Want the AI to stick closer to your script? Crank up the guidance scale. But careful, too much, and you'll put a leash on its creativity. If you're all about patterns or want a bunch of something specific, don't forget to turn on tiling. Keep in mind tiling is best for repeating textures and backgrounds. Okay, so now let's talk about crafting an awesome prompt. As a general guideline, be sure to include five main elements when writing your prompt. Number one is the subject, which clearly describes the main focus of the image and what to draw. In our example, the subject would be a strikingly alluring brunette. Number two is style, which specifies the aesthetic or the look you're going for. It could be cartoonish, futuristic, or like a watercolor painting. In our example, the style would be a captivating synthwave-inspired scene. Number three is the color scheme. In our example, we could mention pinks, purples, and blues. You could also mention the mood the colors should give off, such as bright and happy or dark and spooky. In our example, the color scheme would include neon lights of the cityscape and her dark, mesmerizing eyes. Number four is the place. You want to explain where things are in the picture. So for our example, it would be the bustling city streets. And finally, number five is details. You want to indicate how detailed or abstract you want your image to be. So for our example, we could mention some details like 
flawless complexion to the intricate backdrop. And so forth, and so on. Moreover, you may activate the negative prompt feature to highlight the elements you wish to exclude from your creation. So in my experience, it's good to put things here that you don't like, and sometimes get when generating images using AI. Things like blurriness, six fingers, four fingers, multiple women, poor details, etc. And again, if you should fancy a stroke of inspiration or just feel lazy, give the dice a roll and proceed to improve prompt for suggestions to refine your prompt. Alternatively, you could click on prompt generation for an array of elaborate prompts ready to be adopted or adapted as your starting point. In addition to the prompt, the choice of AI model is pivotal in crafting your image as it determines the foundational artistic style. Leonardo AI has so many awesome AI models to choose from. It could take a long time to decide which one you like best. But from my experience, I really love Leonard Lightning XL, Leonardo Anime XL, and Leonardo Vision XL. For instance, selecting absolute reality will yield images with a lifelike appearance whereas opting for Dream Shaper will produce ethereal visuals adorned with luminous hues. Stable Diffusion stands as a fundamental AI model for general use, while the 3D animation style is unparalleled for creating visuals reminiscent of a 3D animated movie. Additional models are accessible within the exclusive Alchemy Suite, and a variety of other custom models are available under Select Other Model, courtesy of the Leonardo team, or the collective contributions of the community. As you can see, there are a ton of options here. All beautiful in their own way. Upon establishing your prompt and model, you have the option to proceed to add elements. This feature allows you to refine the model's style, offering an additional layer of personalization. Choose any number of elements and assign a specific weight to each to achieve the desired effect. Let's see what adding those elements does for our pick. Not bad. Now, if you want to generate images by using your own existing images as a foundation, then Image Guidance is the tool for you. You have the ability to incorporate up to four images if you're subscribed to a premium plan. Ensure that any image you upload aligns with your prompt's narrative for optimal outcomes, such as mirroring the intended subject, backdrop, or ambiance. Under Type, you can determine the manner in which your image influences the generation. For our example, we'll go ahead and choose Image to Image, and upload one of our examples from earlier. Notice if you lower the strength of image guidance, your prompt will take precedence while maintaining similarities to your uploaded image. As we see in these outputs, the overall look is very similar, but instead of a cityscape, we have a mountain range as the background. On the other hand, if we choose to increase the strength of image guidance, our uploaded image will take precedence and show more similarities. We still have the cityscape background, but this time the woman is blonde. Again, if you opt for a higher strength level, the resulting image retains more features from the original image. On a lower level, Leonardo AI will infuse greater inventiveness into your creation. Now let's go over how you can edit your generated images. Click on one of them to preview it. Along the bottom are various buttons for different functions. The first button allows you to download a JPEG file to your computer for later use. The second button allows you to copy the image. The third button allows you to remove the background of the image. So let's try that out. Very nice. The fourth button is for Alchemy Smooth Upscale, which Leonardo AI says is for smooth textures, which includes illustrations, anime, and cartoon-like images. Keep in mind, this will cost you five tokens per upscale. So let's go ahead and try the Alchemy Smooth Upscale next. Very cool. Mm. Can you see the difference? The fifth button is for Alchemy Crisp Upscale which Leonardo AI says is for images with lots of texture detail, including photos, digital art, and some 3D renders. Keep in mind, this will cost you five tokens per upscale as well. 
Now let's go ahead and try the Alchemy Crisp Upscale. And here we have it. What about this time? Can you notice a difference? I mean, I can tell a difference if I really pay attention, but on quick glance, they look the same to me. Okay, up next, we have the sixth button, which is for the Alchemy Upscaler. Leonardo AI says this can be used to refine and upscale your images. This feature can improve faces and hands as part of the process. And of course, let's give this a whirl as well. Let's see what the Alchemy Upscaler can do. Alrighty. I went ahead and tried the Alchemy Upscaler four times. Yes, that's right, four times. Each one is a bit different. The first is for on the low normal setting. The second is on the low smooth setting. The third is on the high normal setting. And the fourth is on the high smooth setting. Geez, so many options, am I right? Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. What do you think? Ding, ding, ding. Time's up. And onto the seventh and final button is the trash can icon, which allows you to delete the image. Pretty self-explanatory. Oh, and you can also zoom in and out by clicking on the image. So, now it's your turn, folks. Give all these features a try and check them out. Okay, next up, we're going to talk about Leonardo AI's motion section. It's pretty straightforward. You upload a picture. Let's pick something from the community feed this time. Let's pick this pirate. He looks cool. Choose the degree to which you want it to move. Click the Generate button. And voila. You get a motion graphic version of your image. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, so up next, we are going to talk about Leonardo AI's real-time canvas, which can be described as like a magic art tool. It takes your sketches and quickly turns them into beautiful pictures, almost like magic. It's changing the way people make images with AI, making it feel like you're really painting on an electronic canvas. It's easy and fun to use, just like drawing or painting in real life. So let's go ahead and start from the main page. From here, click on Real-Time Canvas on the left sidebar to launch it. Next, we'll select our brush tool, pick any color, and start drawing. You can also upload an existing image to start with. If you are looking for something specific, try entering a prompt to get what you're looking for. Then, just watch as Real-Time Canvas magically updates the output as you go. Keep in mind you have the ability to tweak everything as you go to get exactly what you like. You can switch the style preset to get the exact look you're looking for. In the advanced settings menu, you can adjust the guidance if needed. And as a paid user, enable the high quality option if preferred. You can also adjust the creativity strength. These settings affect the output in different ways, so you'll have to play with it to determine what you like. And now if you want to save your image, you can press on the upscale image button to save the result to your personal feed and generate a refined, larger version of the result. You may also choose to download the result on its own instead with the download button on the top right corner. You may also opt to use the instant refine button and download the result. To get started using in paint mode, you may either start with an existing output on real time canvas or pick an existing image from your device. Then just select the in paint option above the drawing region to enter the in paint mode. Now it's time to paint. Draw the changes you would like to make and include a prompt if needed. If it is just a change of color, a prompt may not be required. Keep in mind that you can define your creations all along the way. Adjust the in-paint strength to your liking. The higher the in-paint strength, the more the result may deviate from your drawn inputs. Lower values will generate a result closer to the input, but may be at the expense of quality. In the Advanced Settings menu, use the Refresh button with the two arrows. 
be sure to enable fixed seed first to get variations of the in-painting result and adjust the guidance for prompt adherence and detail level. And once again, you can pick a style preset of your choice if you would like to apply a specific style. You can then use either Instant Refine to get a higher quality result or save the result and refine it, clicking on Upscale Image. Switch back to Draw Mode if you would like to continue drawing over the in-paint result. Note that this will automatically set your in-paint output as the input image for Draw Mode. If you would like to continue in-painting, use the Output to Input option instead. This is useful when you would like to add completely different elements or use another prompt for in-painting with. Oh, and here are some additional tips. Number one, a value range of 0 0.45, 0 0.75 for in-paint strength is typically adequate. Experimentation is key to finding what's best for your image. And number two, you can use Instant Refine on the in-paint result before switching to draw mode for a higher quality input image. Okay, so up next is the Real-Time Gen suite of features on Leonardo.ai. With Real-Time Gen, you experience blazing fast text-to-image generations that evolve as you type. According to Leonardo AI, Real-Time Gen works best with photorealistic images. To use Real-Time Gen from the main page, click on Real-Time Gen in the left sidebar. Next, input your prompt into the text box below and watch as the output changes as you type. Keep in mind that you can customize by picking a style preset and throwing in some elements. Save your output or use one of the refine options to create and save both the original image and refined output. If you want to get another image, simply click on random seed. Alrighty, next up on the agenda is the Canvas Editor, which is a powerful image editing tool that allows you to make intricate adjustments to your images, remove unwanted elements, or even generate new content using advanced in-painting and out-painting techniques. From the main page, click on Canvas Editor in the left-hand toolbar. To begin using Canvas Editor, you need to upload an image. To do so, simply click on Upload Image button on the left-hand toolbar. For our example, we'll go ahead and upload another image from the community. Let's see here. This one looks good. Okay, now that we have our image, let's go over more of the tools available to use. To move elements around on the canvas, including the generation frame and any new images you generate, use the Select tool, which looks like an arrow. You can then drag and drop the element to the desired location. You can use Pan to navigate around the actual canvas itself. You can also zoom using the plus button to zoom in and the minus button to zoom out. You can also scroll on your mouse or trackpad to zoom in and out. In addition, you can select one of the several preset zoom levels with the zoom level indicator next to the plus and minus buttons. Lastly, the keyboard button at the top of the screen is the keyboard commands shortcut which provides both PC and Mac hotkeys for easier navigation and use. You can easily modify your images effectively using the draw mask or erase buttons on the toolbar. Masking an area retains some of the subject and style underneath, making it ideal for minor touch-ups. Erasing an area completely removes unwanted parts or prepares for a replacement. Once your desired changes have been made, you can simply enter a prompt in the text bar at the base of the screen to regenerate the area within the generation frame. Let's try an example, shall we? So keep in mind that any area we are looking to modify has to be done within this square area. It doesn't have to be a square either. We can change the size by using the image dimensions and aspect ratio options on the right. So let's go ahead and use a one-to-one -one aspect ratio with 768 by 768 dimensions. I want to change the color of her lips to black, so I will select Draw Mask from the left-hand toolbar and paint over her lips. Then I will type in the prompt bar, black colored lips. Then I will hit Generate. It will then give me four options to choose from. Keep in mind you can change the number of outputs by changing the number on the right. Also, the resulting images may not always turn on as expected, so be patient and have fun. 
Now let's try an example with the erase feature. We uploaded a new picture of a woman standing on a beach. Now, let's use the erase feature to give her a choker necklace that matches her outfit. We'll select erase. Make an outline for where her necklace will be. Enter a prompt describing the jewelry. And now we'll press generate and choose from some different outcomes. Pretty nice, right? So let's go over some of the remaining tools within the Canvas editor now. Once you've created an image you're happy with, click on the Download Artwork button on the toolbar to save the image to your computer. If you make a mistake or want to undo an action, use the Undo and Redo buttons on the bottom left of the canvas. Focus Mode is a much more simplified take on in-painting. With Focus Mode, simply select an area where you would like to in-paint with the Lasso tool, prompt and then generate. To enter focus mode, select an image with the selection tool and then simply click on the focus mode button in the top right corner of the canvas. To return to the default mode of the canvas editor, just click on infinite mode. Note, you may be required to accept or cancel any pending changes beforehand. Fine-tuned model. Select your preferred fine-tuned model. The closer the fine-tuned model is to your image's style, the easier it is to get results that look integrated within the image. In-paint strength. Adjusting the in-paint strength affects how much the underlying image is taken into account when in-painting. Higher values may result in better prompt adherence but will ignore the lighting and style of the original image. An amount is between 0 0.7, 0 0.9 is advised number of images. The amount of variations that will be generated. Please do note that this affects the token cost. Since this is a beginner's tutorial, we won't actually go over any of the advanced options at this time. And with that being said, we now just have one more main section to cover. It is the Universal Upscaler. What's a Universal Upscaler? Well, I'm glad you asked. The Universal Upscaler is Leonardo.ai's most advanced upscaling feature. This innovative upscaling tool enables you to enhance the quality and resolution of any image of your choice, be it on the app or from your device. The Universal Upscaler also includes customizable settings, allowing you to tweak how your image should be upscaled to your liking. Let's go over how to use it. On the main page, click on Universal Upscaler in the left sidebar. Click on Add Image in the Source. Image section of the sidebar on the left or the Add an Image button. Select an image from your device or pick one from the app, then click Confirm. You can adjust the upscaler style, creativity strength and upscale multiplier amount to your preferences. Then when you're all ready, click on Upscale Image. If you like what you see, to download the image, simply click on the Download button on the upper right corner. Keep in mind, your upscale results are automatically saved to your personal feed. Rock. On. All right. And that's the end of my Leonardo AI tutorial. How did you like it? Let me know. If you're interested in learning more, there is additional information available on the Leonardo AI website. Links will be in the description. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good one, everybody, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, yada. 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 Bye-bye.